Little Fox. Soon it will be spring, said Dad. We can plant seeds in the garden. Yeah, said Oliver. I'll plant corn. <laughs> Harry laughed. Corn grows really big, said Harry. And you are really small. Oliver frowned. I'll grow big, said Oliver. Yes, said Mom. You just need time to grow. Spring came. Everybody went to the garden. I'll make rows for the seeds, said Dad. Dad made three rows. Oliver planted corn in row one. He covered the seeds with soil. Harry planted beans in row two. Emmy planted carrots in row three. Mom watered all the rows. A week later, the kids ran to the garden. Look, said Harry. The beans grew. The carrots grew, said Emmy. Oliver looked sad. The corn didn't grow, he said. Don't worry, said Mom. The corn will grow. The next week, everybody ran to the garden. The beans are big, said Harry. The carrots are big, said Emmy. Oliver looked worried. The corn didn't grow, he said. It will grow, said Mom. The next week, the corn was big. Yeah, said Oliver. The corn grew a lot. <laughs> Harry laughed. But you're still small. No, I'm not, said Oliver. Look, I grew too. Emmy was doing her homework. I have to do a science experiment, she said. Make a volcano, Emmy, Oliver said. Volcanoes are boring, Emmy said. They're just vinegar and baking soda. You could put something else in the volcano, Harry said. Like what? asked Emmy. Some kids use ketchup instead of vinegar, Harry said. That makes red lava. Cool, said Emmy. Aunt Judy looked worried. Will it make a mess? She asked. Mom might get mad. Mom won't mind, said Emmy. Mom loves science experiments, said Oliver. Emmy made a clay mountain. She made a hole in the top. Then she mixed ketchup with some soap and water. Emmy poured the mixture into the volcano. Let's put some glitter in too, she said. 
Finally, she added baking soda. Everyone waited. The volcano steamed. Then it exploded! Red lava spilled out of the volcano. It dripped all over the floor. Glitter sprayed everywhere. That was not boring, Emmy said. Oliver clapped. Harry laughed and laughed. <laughs> What's going on? Someone asked. Everyone looked up. Mom stood in the doorway. She was frowning at the mess. Aunt Judy gulped. We were doing a science experiment, Emmy said. She grabbed a sponge. But now we're cleaning up. <laughs> The Carters were visiting Hawk Valley. My class had a field trip here, Harry said. We saw hawks soaring through the air. At the visitor's center, the Carters learned about hawks. They saw lots of photos. I can't wait to see a hawk, Emmy said. They look beautiful in flight. The Carters hiked through the woods to a lookout spot. They scanned the valley below and the sky above. I don't see any hawks, Emmy said. Keep watching, Mom said. Oliver pointed to the sky. Is that a hawk up there? <laughs> no, that's an airplane, Dad said. Emmy sighed. Ah, I still don't see any hawks. But she kept watching. Suddenly, Emmy spotted two hawks circling in the air. Wow, she said. They're flying without flapping their wings. They're floating on air currents, Harry said. Another hawk landed on a tree. Emmy used Dad's binoculars to get a better look. That hawk is looking all around, she said. I wonder what it's watching. The bird lifted its wings and took off. Emmy turned to hand the binoculars to Dad. She spotted something in the woods behind him. Look, everybody, Emmy whispered. We are watching hawks. And those deer are watching us. The neighborhood Easter egg hunt is today, Mom said. I can't dye eggs because Rover has a vet appointment. But Aunt Judy is upstairs if you need help. Mom left the kids everything they needed. Mom boiled these eggs so they won't break, Emmy said. Oliver looked at the food coloring. We only have red, blue, and yellow, he said. We can mix those to make other colors, Emmy said. Blue and yellow make green. Blue and red make purple, Harry said. The kids added food coloring to water. Harry and Emmy quickly dyed some eggs. Oliver thought for a while. He couldn't decide which colors to use. 
We're almost finished, Oliver, Harry said. What? Oliver cried. Do we have any more eggs? He opened the refrigerator and found some more. Oliver dipped them in every color until they turned gray. <gasps> That's a strange color for Easter eggs, Harry said. Mom won't like gray eggs, Emmy said. Soon Mom came home. Why are there so many Easter eggs? I used some from the refrigerator, Oliver said. But those eggs weren't hard-boiled, Mom said. How will we know which ones are raw? Oliver grinned. I dyed them gray. Oh, Oliver, Mom said. What a smart idea! No, no.